Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick, welcome to my channel, a place to watch and talk about movies. And this reaction, it's going to be something a little bit special, it's going to be The Iron Claw. Now this movie, I'm mainly doing because it's my girlfriend's favorite movie of last year, and she's honestly been like begging me to watch it for so long. I told her I would do a reaction to it once it came out on DVD. So it just came out on DVD at midnight, and I was, honestly, I've never seen her like be so anxious for me to like watch something before. Like I don't know, she, she seems very excited about this one. And honestly, I know nothing about it. She made me like look up nothing about the trailer or anything. She wants me going completely blind. The only thing she told me is it's a true story about wrestlers. Um, and that's that's a little bit intriguing to me, honestly, just because my dad was a wrestler. He wrestled at college, actually. I wrestled all throughout middle school and high school, and then I switched over to cross country and track. And that was honestly such a hard decision for me to like quit wrestling because I knew how much my dad wanted me to be a wrestler. So, you know, I, I definitely have experience in like wrestling. My whole family is pretty involved with wrestling. I wouldn't say like I am a uh, big wrestling fan of like WWE and UFC and stuff. I've not watched a lot of that to be honest, but I have wrestled before and stuff. Let's just hop right into it. Before we do, if you guys you want to see the fun reaction to this video, you guys can check my Patreon and let's just hop right into it, The Iron Claw. I honestly gotta admit like, it being inspired by a true story makes me 10 times more excited. <laughs> Going so hard. Oh. Can you just do that? Hey now. <laughs> hey Kevin. Hey David. You crushed that guy, Pop. I sure did. Kevin's got me in the iron claw. Oh, that's what he's doing. That's a move. Okay. Nice to have you guys here for once. What is that thing attached to our home? You guys like it? Where is our car? I had the boys swap it out during the show. I'm not even gonna ask how much it costs. A safe place to raise these guys. How does blowing a bunch of money get us a house? The only way to beat this thing. There's no thing. The only way to beat it is to be the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, the absolute best. I will get us there. I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And nothing will hurt us ever again. We've been through hell. And we're gonna leave all that behind. I promise. Oh, so it is in color. Oh, okay, so, so that was just like during the past then, right? <laughs> it looks so familiar. Oh wow, they're a big family. What is that picture? Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. We never talked about it. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. Oh, that's Zac Efron. The most successful. Nothing could ever hurt us. Oh, dang, he looks so I believed ripped. It. We all did. I'm sorry, he's just so ripped. Like, wow. Dang. <laughs> That's foul play. I seriously think that's one of the best, like, like that body transformation is just so outstanding in a way. Eat like you're a starving man. You look like 10 Morning. times bigger. Finally, quickly, I take my food, Mom. 
You need to start hitting the weights more, kid. You're growing well, but you need to bulk up, get some strength in those arms. I may not be the strongest, but I still can't eat the most. It's not a joke. Kerry is about to become the family's first Olympian. Kevin is the NWA Texas champion. David is about to make his ring debut. Oh, come on. It's time for you to start thinking about what you're going to be. Kerry's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the rankings can always change. Wait, you just say that to your kids? Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Oh, I'm shocked. The father really just said that. Dave, I gotta take a dump. Hurry up in there, man. Mike, shut up! David! Man. Dad's too tough on Mike, Mom. You gotta say something. Please. Kevin, that's between them. Now go, get ready. But you don't want to help? Great, thanks, Mom. We got burgers on the way? We got food in the cooler. <sighs> Miss Carrie, he got burgers in me right now. Wait, right. who's Carrie? Wow, <laughs> oh, this is actually so sweet. I was surprised they were, like, kind of hanging out in a way, like, with free time. I thought the dad would be, like, a lot more strict with, like, them wrestling. Heavyweight champion Kevin Von Erich here. And he's scheduled to fight in a tag team match later on tonight. I just want to say that Gino, you've been running that mouth of yours way, way too long. Can we just do that again? Yeah, job? absolutely. Yeah. Take it from the top, okay? Oh, oh, they can do that. I thought that was live. It ain't gonna be all rosy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> David, I hear you. Stop. I didn't say anything. You've been shooting your mouth up, shooting your mouth, shooting your mouth. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> If it's so easy, you get up here and do it then. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to, but we kind of ruined the surprise. Though. Yeah, I know. Oh, I love this song. I'll give you a big boot. I want you to really sell it. And then the double drop kick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the call? Right, yeah. Been working on that today. Oh. Okay, so it's like predetermined who wins? Or is it just like most of the moves are pre choreographed? The top rope. Cody Days now. Huge flying cross body nut. And here comes the Iron Claw. His father's notorious signature move. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, sure. Thanks. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you too, Kevin. Did you uh, want my brother sign? No, just you. Your folks not teach you how to ask questions? Like what? You know, who shall I make this out to? Or, um... You want to go out to or... <laughs> You want to go out to dinner? Would you like to have a drink with me sometime, Pam? Are you asking me out? I would love to go out with you, Pam. <clears throat> Wasn't that? Yeah, I just, I've just never been asked before. Well, hopefully it'll go well, and then no one else will have the chance to ask you again. <laughs> That's so adorable. I want to offer us a national slot for Saturday nights. That's great news. <laughs> Good financial base. Uh, we'll have ad revenue, and we have a world heavyweight champion in our roster. We could be the biggest promotion in wrestling. Oh, we'll have a world heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah, with Kevin. Let's move forward. Good. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs? <laughs> I want to be world heavyweight champion. And all just fake? Fake? There's nothing fake about what we do. You move up in any industry based on your performances, right? Mm-hmm. So a belt is really just a job promotion. You reach the top, you become world champ as a reward. Mm. But if it's all prearranged? Based on your ability, and on how the crowd responds to you. Okay. And is that all you want? I want to be with my family. Oh. 
What do you like to do with your brothers? Anything. Well, I want to be a vet. I want kids. I want a man who's okay with that. So would you be okay with that? Oh, damn right I would. <laughs> I actually love how like easily they're bonding. Everyone could come live with us, all my brothers, their families. Okay. I'm not the oldest though. When I was five, my big brother Jack Jr., he died. Oh, oh my God, Kevin, I'm so sorry. Wait, I have no what? idea. That's all right. What was that like? I don't know, it was strange. As a kid, he just uh, he just wasn't there to play with one day. That's actually so sad. He's probably just repressed it so much. <laughs> was he the baby in the like the baby picture that was in the family portrait? Because I was wondering who that was. Earth. Oh, that's What's why that? he thinks his family's cursed. Oh, I'm just joking. My dad changed his last name to Von Eric, which was my grandma's last name. And I don't know, I guess her family had all sorts of tragedy. So when my brother died, people started saying that it was his curse. I know it was all just bad luck. I think we make our own luck. Hey, Pop. Get in here. You are gonna fight the world heavyweight champion. No way. <laughs> you kidding me, Pop? You will become the number one contender for the world heavyweight championship and get your title shot. Pop, thank you. Thank you. I, I will make you so proud. I've dreamed of having that belt in this house my whole career. So you have to take this opportunity. You can be the one to bring it home for us. I mean, that's great, but like, he should want, he does want to do it, I'm assuming, right? Like, I'm just actually worried it's all like, because his father wants him to. Me, Harley Race, the real world's heavyweight champion. This belt is the only measure of who is the man. And that man is me. I'm actually so curious like how big wrestling was like back in the time period of this like in the 80s and stuff good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an exciting night of world-class championship wrestling on espn harley race is in town to take on texas champion kevin von eric you can feel the excitement here at the world famous sportatorium kevin von eric faces his biggest two, challenge two. to date Four-time world champion, Harley Race. Now, this is an untitled fight. The belt cannot change hands here. And he delivers Ooh. a big blow to the midsection. Ooh. Knocks the wind right out of it. Kevin on the mat. He's lining up a big shot. And oh, nice. So so good. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that looks so bad in the beginning. Oh, and a blow. Oh, I don't think the ref saw that. Kevin struggling now. This gets Kevin in a suplex. Oh, no, I hope he doesn't do it. Oh, on the concrete. Is he seriously hurt? Oh, nice, nice. Oh. Oh, that was so, so intense. Oh. This could be it. The red cautioning, but he doesn't want to hear it. Losing out the fans did not want to see it at once. Oh, it's over. It's over. Stop. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Nice. You afraid I was going to be soon. You Harley Race, we showed you what we're made of. My brother here put a good old-fashioned Texas whooping on you. 
You are the past, my friend. We're the future of this sport, so you keep on running. Brother here deserves his rematch, and he will fight you anywhere, anytime, for a fair shot at that NWA World Heavyweight title. He got so beat up, though. Is he okay? You were long getting up. Yeah, I just never hit the floor that hard before. You got to take it and get up. Yeah, I know. I physically, I just couldn't move. Did I do enough to get my rematch? Of course you did. We'll see. Great on the mic, son. Really great. Dad's down playing it because he doesn't want to get your hopes up. But you were incredible out there. Why didn't you let me talk? Yeah, I'm sorry, Kev. I thought I was helping. You were, you were. Hey, smile, man. You just beat the world heavyweight champion out there. I get what he's saying, though. It's by disqualification. Oh, that's Kerry. Oh! I'm actually shocked. I thought for sure he'd be arrested. Let our voices be heard in an absolutely clear way to the Soviet Union and its government. And I hope the recognition of a grateful nation will at least partially make up for the sacrifice that you'll have to make this summer in not going to Moscow for the Summer Olympics. Oh, he looks so mad. Welcome home, So he's Curry. just away, like, on, like, doing track, or? Sorry, it didn't work out, huh? Me too, son. What? Oh. Hi! Hi! I mean, that naturally, they're going to be just so competitive with all them. Oh! You got to die for that, Mike. You got to lay out. Mike's the best linebacker in the state watching from the stands. Good job, son. I was real proud watching you fight Harley, Kev. Thanks, Gary. Now, when's the rematch? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Hey, Kerry, you see all the new camera angles? They're cool, right? We're talking about wrestling, not camera angles. Your brother fought the world champion on national TV. I've been meaning to tell everyone. I, well, I, I, got this, I got this quartet that I'm a part of from school. We, ha we actually have a gig. We yeah. are? But it's tonight at UT Dallas. Oh, no. no. You're too young to set foot on a university campus. Oh, good. We could, we could play the gag and we'll leave right after. Sure? No. The answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know it's wrong disobeying your parents, but, like, I feel like, I feel like he'll be fine. He has all his brothers, too. It actually seems like he really likes this though. I feel like he should be allowed to continue this. That's good he's letting off steam. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> oh, Ric Flair. Now I wouldn't wish wrestling on any of you. I only wrestled to provide for y'all, and I always hoped you boys would choose another profession. But the Olympics has been taken from you, the way professional football was taken from me. The world keeps taken from us. So, Kerry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. I love that. Okay, so he, he actually did not even want them to pursue wrestling. Is he trained a little, brother? Woo! <laughs> okay! See, I, I honestly just love it so much because they're all now together. Oh, but not the youngest? Oh. Oh, so Mikey's not in it yet. Okay, I thought it was all four of them. Oh, 
they got their own plays. And we're here today to restore justice and order to the wrestling federation that our father built Dang. with his own two hands. They were just destroying everything. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> Look at them go. At a combined weight of 740 pounds from Bad Street, Atlanta, Georgia. 690 pounds, Kevin, Perry, and David Von I I'm loving this movie so far, but I really do wish that they would sh like tell a bit more about what happened to the brother who died. Because like I'm, I'm so shocked by that still. Buddy Roberts comes in, two on one, oh. and Terry. Oh, oh no. Terry flips Buddy off with a cross buddy. Terry Gordy Ooh. catches him. What's he going to do with him? Here comes the oh. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, that was incredible. New NWA World Six Man Tag Team Champions, Kevin Perry and David. Tonight you saw the strength and resilience of my family. WCCW is the best in the business. The Von Erics are the best in the business. Oh, his voice is just like so electric when he talks. I'm sorry. It's just, oh, like he really knows how to give a speech. About the man who runs the NWA on air. Because I will make it my life's work to see to it that David Von Erich will be the next NWA champion. And then each and every one of my sons, Kevin, then Kerry, then Mike. Oh, he does not look happy about that. Oh, he, he definitely wants to do music. Are and will forever be the greatest family in the history of wrestling. Like, bravo to him for that speech, though. <laughs> like, that speech is actually just so epic. Pops make mistakes like that. That must be so tough, though, like, impeding also against your brothers like that. Is he against steroids? We are finally getting a world heavyweight title shot with Ric Flair. Oh. And they want it to be you, David. This is your time. Your opportunity. That must be so hard for Kevin, though, because he basically should have had that shot. You can't be world champion unless you win over Japan. Then you'll fight with Flair at Parade of Champions in May at Texas Stadium. Love you, Pop. We've had a couple of setbacks, but I can feel it. I mean, I get it, but also it's not just about you. I feel like the pressure he puts on his sons is just way too much. You've made your brother better. Keep it up out there. You never know when your opportunity will come. Yes, sir. Yeah, David, fuck yeah! I, I can definitely tell, though, why he's like that. It makes sense. Seriously though, like what an amazing story in a way just seeing like them rise to the top, like it's just so amazing for them. Especially showing in the beginning just how much like their family bond meets them. Too much already? It's early. You alright? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we uh, just some stomach burns. <coughs> oh, that's blood. Is that blood? You need to see a doctor. No, I'm fine. You're not fine. Don't worry about it. You're pushing too hard. You need to rest. I'm fine, Kev. Seriously, I'm just sick. I'll be good. I don't think you should go to Japan next week. Oh, and he's gonna think it's because of... It's not because he didn't pick you. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. man. Hey, Dave. I just wanna say, I didn't take it so well. You jumped me and all. I got pretty angry. And I 
proud of you, just at the whole situation. I just love being out there with you guys. It's the only thing that matters to me. I'll be pretty happy to focus on my family, though. Family. Oh, she's pregnant. Yeah, there's a shotgun with. Oh, dang. You gonna be an uncle? Yes, sir. Gonna be an uncle. All right. It's early to rise, early in the sun. Thank God I'm the Lord. These are all filled with an easy cup of charm. Thank God I'm the Lord. I love this song. I've never heard this song before. David. What happened? Oh, he lost. He died in his hotel room in Japan. A ruptured intestine. How does that happen? Just... Take those sunglasses off. And that must be so hard for the dad and mom. Like, that is their second kid died, right? Because they had the oldest I don't want to see any died. tears. The Lord decided it was time for David to move on. <clears throat> oh, like Kevin even asked him for help, too. Kev, I miss you, brother. You gotta come with me next time. Someone asked me for an autograph today because they thought I was you. It made me very happy. I'll probably be home by the time you get this, so this is stupid, but see you soon. That's heartbreaking. I'm just still just so shocked he really just died like that. There must have been blood, though, like what he was coughing up earlier. Come on, hun. I'm here if you want to talk. Good. It's hard to see clearly in this dark moment, but we cannot let this tragedy define us. Our greatness will be measured by our response to adversity. Now, David's title match against Ric Flair at Parade of Champions is a moment of a lifetime. We still have a chance to bring the World Heavyweight Championship home. <laughs> If one of you will step up and wrestle no, in this place. No, they can't. It's so soon. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm ready, Dave. I want it. It's my match. No, I deserve it too. Hey, boys, what? it's a tough decision. You are the oldest, Kev. But Carrie's been getting the most heat lately. We're going to flip a coin. It's the only fair way to decide. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm sorry. This is so messed up. Oh, that's so sweet. Trouble coming down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a bit. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for a ride or something. Right. Yeah, be careful. You were great today. I just don't like the way this is being filmed. Is he gonna get an accident or something? He's okay, right? Oh, 
Oh, he got an accident. Oh! Actually, his last name will be Atkinson. That's my birth name. Do you have your birth certificate? Yes. Yeah, because he actually like believes in the curse. I mean, to be honest, I, I kind of do too now. Don't cross your damn feet. Shuffle. Right. Yep, stand tall. Use your height. Switch your feet. Come on, goddammit, switch your feet. I'm sorry, it's, it's great, it's great he's doing so well. I'm just, I'm still like reeling over some of the stuff that's happening. Oh. oh. What happened? He was just like back thing after back thing. suffered toxic shock syndrome. What does that mean? I'm sorry to say that Mike is in a coma. What? How? It was a routine shoulder surgery. Well, it's rare, but it happens. There's no way. All we can do now is wait and pray he pulls through. Oh, I see better. There's no way. Why does it just keep happening? I don't know. Hey, like, that's just oh, that's so okay. awful. But it keeps happening. You shouldn't have even been in the ring. Not your fault. I should have stopped him. No. No, what could you do, Kevin? There's no getting through to that man. Hey. Hey, hon, I'm late for work and I can't get him to settle. Can you take it for me? Okay. What? Just take him until your mom gets here. I've got to go. Uh, hang on. Here. Here. Sorry. Thank you all for coming. Hey, Mike, are you feeling okay? Yeah? <gasps> We're all just so excited that Mike pulled through. Yeah, yeah. Shows how much of a fighter he is. Yeah. And uh, after losing David, it's just you poor thing. It's too much to think that we almost lost Mike, oh. too. Uh, I'm moved that my whole family is here with me through everything. Uh, and I'm, I'm thankful to everyone. So what's the time frame for your return to the ring, Mike? I know I'll be back. <laughs> no, right. don't. Soon, yeah. Oh, don't. Soon. He's going to be back in the ring in no time. Rest. You can sit down for a while. Here you go. Thanks. I'm scared, Mom. There is nothing to be scared of. Everybody wants me to be David, but I can't replace him. I mean, he, he can go into whatever he wants, but like, I don't, I don't think he wants to do wrestling. <laughs> the fact that this is based on a true story just makes this like so much harder to believe in a way.
I get, I get playing through the injury, but he literally has no way. I'm your boy. I'm sorry if I hurt you. But I'm going to a better place. No. Oh. How is this movie like this sad in a way? Just literally two of them just died. Three if you count the one that they said the oldest brother. <laughs> only three of them have died. I mean, I know, I know this has to have a happy ending. Or otherwise, I would have just been like, I don't know if I can finish this. <laughs> but like, I, I know it has to have a happy ending. Someone. I can't put course. it on. It can't be like a happy ending entirely. Which is how many people have died. Everyone will recognize it. I, I can't. I, I need a, a new dress. Honey. Honey, listen to me. People here love you. All right? They don't care. <laughs> Doors. The dad told them before, like they can't Are have you tears. coming home tonight? Oh, that's so sad. I can't hear that. I know to them, it's like, you know, that's how they were raised, but it's just so sad to think about. I'm not sure. Um, I know how painful this is, but this, this doesn't work for me. I don't, I don't want him to get it. I want you guys to catch up. Kevin, you can't be serious. Come home. I can't. Okay. I feel so bad for her. Like she she just needs him. But he's just like, he's going through so much. It's like I I understand way like he just he needs he needs to figure this out. He needs to just People say my family was cursed. It never seemed to worry my father. Nothing had ever hurt us. I believed him. Like Ric Flair. You see, the difference between me and I'm custom made from head. Oh, the greatest wrestler alive today, the toughest wrestler alive today. No daddy's boy is going to take that from me. Mine is. You're denying. I am talking right now. Hey, Let listen me to me. Question. Listen to me. I'll tell question. you what. You like talking to me on the show. You will listen to me talk. Whoa! Walk the aisle, daddy's boy. Walk the aisle. <laughs>
five. <laughs> Woo! Let's get a drink. We're gonna get f up around right here. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Come on, son. We need a bigger boat. So what did you decide, boss? I think we need to cut down again to one show. Oh, so he's now taking his dad dad's position. Let's bring him home for a Saturday night. So we have an offer on the table from Jerry Jarrett. He wants to buy us out. I didn't give you the company so you could turn around and sell it. I'm almost broke. We need a house. But we can't fit in that apartment anymore. If you sell, you can forget about stepping through these doors again. Damn near almost 40 years old, still can't take care of yourself. I didn't make nearly what it says I did. You think living here was a free ride? Don't you dare question me. Atta boy, Carrie. That's how you do it. Look at your uncle, boys. Hey, welcome home, champ. I am watching every match on the TV. Thank you. He's really been wrestling this whole time. Like, did he get a new, like, kind of prosthetic foot? I don't know. Who's this? That's um, uh, that's Tony. WWF Intercontinental Champion. Second biggest title in wrestling since your brother ruined our promotion. Tony and I were going to a. Uh, to Mexico for Christmas, right? I thought you were home for Christmas. I'm here now, but we got this great deal on a Christmas Day flight to Mexico, and you know, I need the rest. Been hitting it hard. Just for you, 25th anniversary, what do you think? Hmm? It's beautiful, son. Well, you always shoot a gun when you get it. I don't want to shoot it, Carrie. Well, why the f not? Carrie, what is wrong with you? Well, me, what's wrong with him? Watch it, son. You brought company to the house. Now, we don't want to be rude. Just settle down and we'll have a nice dinner that your mother worked hard to prepare. When are you getting your world title shot over there? Mm. I see your old tag team partner, Hellwigs, holding. That guy's got nothing on you, never has. Oh, so. I. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be on. Hey, stop. <laughs> Why didn't you go home? You okay? Gary. No, I'm scared, man. I'm in pain. I'm in pain all the time. I'm fucking deformed. It takes too much to hide it. Well, they got me in house shows from now on. They don't want me anymore. Oh. Well, I got, I got nowhere to go. I got no one. I need someone. No, I need family. Just come here. Stay with us. No, oh, I can't. I can't let your boy see me like this. Be fine. Well, then let's get breakfast somewhere. Or I'll meet me home. Mom can make us pancakes. No, I want it on the end. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't mean that. I do. I just don't want to die. After everything. It's in me now. It's got a hold of me. Oh, no. Just tell me where you are. And I'll come and get you. Gary. Oh, Gary, Gary, talk to him. No. You, you, you gotta go over there. You gotta, you gotta run over there. Hey, I just talked to Gary. He's in a pretty bad state. I'm worried about him. You boys need to work it out between yourselves. Just look out for him, okay, Dad? I'll be there as soon as I can. That's, that, that's what the dad says? Oh, no. Is 
Is that his car? <gasps> oh, that was scary. Oh, please tell me that. That was like Fritz doing his new gun or something. No! No! Oh. Carrie! 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 Oh. I told you to look out for him! You didn't take care of him! You didn't take care of any of them! He called you, and you didn't help him! Oh, he was just gone. This poor family. Hey, brothers! <laughs> World champion of the afterlife, huh? <laughs> oh. He must be my oldest brother, Jackie. Oh, he was that young when he died. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. No, I'd love for you to stay on wrestling, if you want. I'll give you a minute. What are you doing? Painting. What's for dinner? I'm not hungry. That must be so sad for him to just think of out of the way. You okay, Dad? Lee, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. This man doesn't cry. I'm sorry, boys. It's okay, Dad. You can cry. Everyone cries. Yeah, what are you talking about? You cry all the time. Do you think you know why you're sad? I guess it's because I used to be a brother. Now I'm not a brother anymore. Oh. We'll be your brothers, Dad. Yeah, Dad. We'll be your brothers. Oh. That is so sad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, boys. Is he just like I know that the brothers died, but just like that line? That's just. That must be the saddest thing ever to be a brother and then just all your brothers are gone. That's what they look like. Ran myself off the road and woke up and feel it's getting harder to stay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that that movie was incredible. Okay, buddy, so I was gonna be watching the Iron Claw, I'm still such a mess. Just that that's what we <laughs> I just I, I did not expect that to be at all what it was. Especially based off the first like 40, 45 minutes, I guess, just them like 
in the wrestling ring, just like them building their careers up. I thought that was going to be kind of the main focus of the movie. And it definitely was in some extent, but the family dynamic between the brothers and just how much that pulled at me throughout this movie was just, it was something I've never seen before. Seriously, just the amount of just love these brothers had for each other was amazing. And just as someone who has a brother, just, you know, I feel like there's ways that just, brother's bond that no one else really knows about in a way like there's just that special touch that your brother has with you and seeing that portrayed in this movie was just it, it was so special to see and then to see the ending like the second half of this movie i gotta be honest like i was just i was so shocked and just so sad throughout most of it and like it was it was just such an impactful story and i actually before i recorded this outro i took like a minute only they cut out the youngest brother because it was too sad and I have to see the like actual story. Like after I finish recording this outro, I'm gonna see like the real story of what happened to this family. Cause I know some of it definitely was dramatized for TV, I bet. But I bet the main parts of like, you know, all the brothers dying and stuff, I bet that is true. And that to me is just so horrific to think about that like that really happened. It just it does it doesn't seem in a way like a real story in some sense of like just how unlucky this family got. And I know like of course some people may not believe in curses, and I'm not saying I completely believe like they were cursed, but the amount of just bad circumstances that happened to them i just i feel like there was a family to say like they are cursed it would be this family for me because honestly like two brothers died from suicide but the oldest brother who died when he was very young like that was just i want to know how he died because like that was just so tragic to me and i feel like that was just kind of glossed over and i may have missed it honestly i hope i didn't but i really want to know like what happened to him when he died as a baby was it like a health issue or was it you know something else like car accident I don't, I don't know acting in this movie also was just so amazing from especially uh carrie and kevin i'm sorry i forget carrie's actor's name i don't know if i've seen him in anything else but kevin also was just zach efron especially the build like i i think i commented about it. like i've not seen like kind of that body transformation since the wheel with brendan frazier because i know brendan frazier was not obviously that bad <laughs> and he had to wear like a suit or something for the whale but zach efron in this like the amount of just bulking up he had to do, he looked so just ripped out of his mind away. Like I, I was just shocked when I first saw him. I didn't even recognize him for the first like minute because he just, he looked completely different from what I knew him as from like High School Musical and stuff. And I gotta be honest, like the deaths affected me so much, but also just the injuries. Like the fact that Mikey, he just, he seemed like the kid who like, is kind of like me in some ways. Like I want to do stuff, but maybe I shouldn't like, because I'm not physically kind of built for it in some ways. And Mikey just seemed like, compared to the rest of the brothers, that maybe he just, wrestling was not his calling. It did not seem like it wanted to be his calling. Like, he seemed like he was really interested in music. So I was just, I was kind of heartbroken to see, like, how he was kind of swayed into wrestling by his dad. And he even was shocked by it when his dad made the announcement, like, he eventually will become a champion. He looked so shocked. And so honestly, I just, I felt like he was not going to go down the wrestling path. But then when he actually got injured, and then he was in the coma, and just... I gotta be honest, like probably one of the hardest I cried in this movie in a way was just seeing him come out of the coma because I just, I did not expect to, him to kind of be like that. And just, it was so sad to see this boy who just in a way just wanted to please his father doing wrestling. All the boys did, but just Mikey in particular just felt like he wanted to do music. He wanted to do something else and just to see where he ended up and then to get to that point of like, he just, he couldn't handle it anymore. I've just, you know, I've also been through that issue couple years ago where I, you know, was contemplating suicide and just to see it depicted twice in this movie, it hit me <laughs> a lot harder than I thought, especially with Mikey though. Carrie also, just both of them were so impactful, but I think Mikey's just, I, I was so not expecting it. And then after Mikey for Carrie to do it, that was just like, I, I almost broke at the end. Like I almost just stopped watching because I, I just, it was so hard to see, especially since Carrie did it with the own gun he bought his father. And with Carrie, you could just tell like towards the end, just something was off about him and just, seeing that he couldn't handle that pressure. And he he wrestled for, I, I, I forget if they said how long, but he just wrestled so long without even a foot. And just, that to me is just so much dedication. Like I know he did it for his dad also, just for him too, but like that is such a hard thing to do. And I just, I can't imagine what was going through his head during that time. And to be honest, the fact that Kevin, like once again, I said already at the outro at the beginning, but just the fact that he said that line at the end where he just he used to be a brother and now he's not even a brother anymore. That, that was just so heartbreaking just to think that he had so many brothers he had this whole big family and then by the end he just he had his family but just none of his brothers in a way like it just i it's such a shocking thing for me to see so like i, I honestly just want to see the, the like true story of like you know everything that maybe the movie did not cover 
But seriously, what an amazing pick. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, I completely forgot to rate this movie. I'd probably give this a 10. Like I just, I truly think this is one of the most impactful movies I've seen in a while.